the RSS plugin module, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from the show and can spare just a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Hello and welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today we're going to be talking about something a little close to my heart because I wrote it, so kind of disclaimer. Um, it's the RSS feed plugin. Now this RSS feed plugin, what it does is right on the tin. It creates an RSS feed of what the shells that you get. So sessions, um, interpreter sessions, shell sessions, anything that you get coming in, it's going to add to an RSS feed. Now you might be asking what, so like why would I want an RSS feed? I can already look at what sessions I have ty typing sessions. You taught me that. Well, what if you're out to lunch or sleeping or somewhere else in the world other than at your box looking at your shells? Well, I created this because I wanted a way to be able to see alerts whenever I got a session come in, no matter where I was. So we're going to start off by editing this file just because of where the file exists. So let's look at what it, what it shows and we'll see what I mean. So in Metasploit framework, depending on where you have this set, it can be in user share on, on Kali. Inside of the plugins directory, there is the, if I can type correctly, the RSS feed plugin. So if we look in here, we can see that this plugin is a class of event RSS, which is basically an MSF plugin. The session events basically says add event, generate the feed. And then you can edit these scripts however you wish. So it says whatever you want. So MSF console, you can make it says, say, Mubix's RSS feed of awesomeness or or shell, shell, shells, or however you want to make it say. And then down here is what I actually want to get to. So this RSS feed says feed.rss, which is pretty generic. Uh, most of the times you want rss.xml or atom.xml or however you want, but most feed readers can handle any file type or any file name. So let's write this just to make it easy. We're going to put it in temp, in share, and we'll leave it feed.rss. The reason I'm changing the directory is because by default, it sends it to the Metasploit directory or whatever the current working directory of wherever you are. So unless you want to share out the rest of your Metasploit directory, I, I highly recommend changing this directory so it goes in somewhere that you can share out without giving away the rest of the stuff. So Nginx, web server, However you want to share it out, we're going to be using the Ruby web server we've been using this season, um, but it's up to you. So let's go in, and that's the only file change that we really need to do. Then we go into our temp share. So we need to load our RSS feed reader. All right, so we loaded our RSS feed, and that's it. You really don't have to do any editing or anything else than that. Um, if you want the RSS feed to go into the Metasploit directory, that's fine. There's no options right now. We're actually going to make changes to that later on, but that's not really where we're starting with. So waiting for a shell. We're going to check our handler just because the last take we did on this, I didn't have a handler running and we don't again. Yay. Why did exploit? You know what? Set exit on session. Let's see what it said. Why is it false? Hopefully, our handler will actually stay running this time because it seems to not be keeping running every time we do a take on this. So, go back over, got our share, stand up our Ruby. Uh, let's just watch for the RSS feed. Oh, it's already there. So, let's see what's in there. By default, it just tells you that the plugin is loaded. It will also say Metasploit 1 session opened or Metasploit 2 or Metasploit session 1, 2, 3 open. And we're going to see that by giving us a shell. Now, if you're watching our last episode, you know how we're going to do this by turning on our stupid VM that keeps turning off. Not, not angry at all. So we're going to get our shell because we actually have our stupid VM up and running again. 
And of course, we typed it wrong. 32. R, oh, yep. Yeah. Fine. Work this time. Not angry at all. There we go. Save that. No visible problems. Let's see if we got our shell. We switch over to our attacker. All right, so we, ha we see our session created. There's the updated date, and we have our session. So all we have to do from here is set up our web server or have it copy uh, automatically over or however you want to set this up. Go to something like if then then else, uh, if then then that, I'm sorry, and have it go to your watch. So have a push notification go directly to your phone as soon as a new RSS uh, feed or item goes in. And then you have updates and alerts about your shells wherever you are. So you can do your root dance at the airport or in a restaurant or wherever you want. Let me know what you think. Email me at msf at hack5.org and stay tuned to Metasploit Minute for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone who's supporting the show. If you'd like to support the show directly, head on over to patreon.com forward slash move it. Every dollar counts towards making the show even better just for you. I'm very grateful for all your support. So until next time, I'm Mubix, I got an RSS feed, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. <laughs>